Hey everybody, welcome back to another Brunch Sunday with me and Michael. We're going to another beachside place that we've never been to today. It's called Too Cool Cafe and it is right off of uh, South Patrick Shores Drive or Riverside, depending on which side you're on. And uh, we're excited. We've already looked at their menu. It looks like they have lots and lots of egg options. So let's go check <laughs> yeah. it out. Let's get the vegetables off of the table. <laughs> Here, take your spoon and open up your, your, so I can see it. Thank you. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, that's huge. I can't even. <laughs> that is huge. Give us a second. My AC is too loud to talk. It's getting hot already. It's only 9:45, but it's 84 out. 84 feels like 94. 100%. All right, let's talk about Too Cool Cafe. Okay. Um, we both got omelets, and actually when I placed my order, Michael said, that sounds so good, I'm gonna get the same thing. I it, did, yeah. It's an omelet made with four eggs, so it was huge. That was, that's a nice, yeah. The one I ordered, I think it was called the California, but I ordered, um, it comes with bacon in it, and I had them add sausage, and they cooked the avocado in the omelet, which I had never had that before, that was awesome really gave a sweet it, fruity taste to the omelet and it was good it had sour cream on top it visually wasn't it didn't good. look good it, it uh, well i wouldn't say it, it looked uh, bad it didn't look as good as it tasted correct yes okay. yeah 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 i did mine the same way we you saw we kept the pico off but had the sour cream we both got cottage cheese as a side which if that tells you anything about mine. florida with retirement community having cottage cheese as a side Oof. I tried. But, I try. I really want to be a cottage cheese person. I cannot do. I it. used to really like cottage cheese, and then, I, but the large curd, and I, um, I like it here as a snack. But uh, otherwise, it was potatoes or in toast, and we had that, all that left off. Um, it wasn't. I don't know what to say the, about the menu. I mean, the, there were a lot of egg options. Um, and then outside of that, it was just a standard, hey, you want a couple of different style crepes or you want a couple of different style French toast or you want standard pancakes. That was about it. Jules, they just had black coffee, water, and juice. Um, there was a dinner menu and lunch they do menu have on the other side. That looked amazing. But, we but, but, but the waitress told us, she's like, oh, it's nothing special. It looked special. It looked very, very nice. It came out looking like an old fashioned float. Yeah, like we thought, we didn't know if it was milkshake or, or something. <laughs> specialty coffee. We didn't, was... we didn't get one, but we saw her take a platter full of them to the table beside us. And we were like, whoa, what is that? It's just the powdered stuff with hot water. We just put some whipped cream and chocolate syrup. We're like, okay, we don't want one of those. And so she's like, yeah. It's, um, it just reminded me of in Greece when, when I had that, that Bailey's coffee, remember? That's what it looked like. And I was like, oh, are they, they have those kind of coffees here because that was really good. Anyway, um, was not as good as last week, just off the cuff. Uh, was good. It was good. I liked the taste of that bacon. They have a maple, was it maple something bacon? I forgot what it was called. Maple. Anyway, um, and then we added the sausage. It was good. It was not... How do you say that? It's not as well, it wasn't as well put together when you cut through it. Um, 
I mean, it was all over the place. It eggs was more like a fried egg that was folded in half. With you stuff really to get needed it. a fork and a knife and a spoon sometimes to I'm try to get it I'm used to an <laughs> omelet, the egg kind of adhering to and getting in between all the ingredients. Yeah. This was more like a Here, fried this egg. Is what, this is what it is, okay? They put the eggs in the skillet. When the egg got cooked enough is when they added the toppings and then they folded it. Yeah, like a fried Last egg. week, in the majority of places we've been, it's all a mixture and it all goes into the skillet at once so it's all throughout i think that's what the big that's thing what, was. yeah that's what i'm trying to describe um, but it wasn't bad i mean it was good it was good uh, i like the taste of it and i think i liked it more than you did but only because i'm used to avocados being a garnish on top of my egg and not being kind of yeah. like melted inside the egg so i was a little overly impressed with that i think but i would give the restaurant itself it was the best uh most upscale classy if we can dare use those words um the ambiance inside was by yeah. far trying the hardest to look nice it was it was probably because they're open for dinner as well their dinner menu looks pretty good actually yeah we actually they um, have like crab cakes coming and some, back but uh the ambiance was by far trying the hardest of anywhere we've been i know we always complain about these little grandma cafes but the food i'm gonna give it if i take a more realistic look at the fact that the avocado wasn't uh -huh. you know they didn't reinvent didn't the wheel like, uh, <laughs> um yeah. i'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten um you're right there i'm right there with you i was gonna say seven and a half the coffee was good yeah. the waitress was super nice the yeah service the waitress was the great. service was was amazing yeah, like, there's she nothing was wrong great. with the service um it was just uh it was better than better than better than decent better than okay but not mind-blowing breakfast if we didn't go back we we wouldn't you know it, it wouldn't hurt us the price for like the breakfast dinner. was about was about the same mm -hmm. um, as last week, which was at Beachside Beach Cafe. Side. Yeah. So anyway, um, just wasn't great. And if we give it a number, a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. The service was was outstanding, but I'm only rating it on the food, not the atmosphere. Because like you said, <clears throat> it was a neat little cafe. We always complain <clears throat> about how everywhere looks like. Grandma threw up surfer gear all over the plaid gingham Sometimes. wallpaper. <laughs> um, so I would say ambiance is best we've seen yet, probably. Which is sad because it sits. It one wall is shared with a car wash. If we look right <laughs> no. over here, so again you can't get past it. Florida, what are you doing? Two, two cool cafe, <laughs> and then car wash. Can Just you when you think you're trying to be classy, yeah. Anyway, you share the parking lot with a car wash. Seven out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. It's almost adorable, though. We get down here and it's like, oh I, my I God. told Michael, if any of my girlfriends were to text me tomorrow and be like, I'm craving Too Cool Cafe, you want to go? I would, of course, come back. Yeah. But yeah. I probably would not seek it out on my own um, after this experience and, and, like, want to come here unless there was somebody else who wanted to come here. And for lunch and dinner, I think Jules mentioned it. If crab cakes is on the menu, I will at least show up and give it a try. I, I'm thinking so, we need to come back and try dinner here. Yeah, yeah. And you can sit outside with with your pups. It's you can friendly. sit inside. Um, we knew that when we came here, but we weren't sure if they were going to have a, a Sunday morning. We weren't sure if there was going to be a long line and a wait, so we didn't yeah. bring our dog the first time we came. But I wish that's we had. another thing. It seems like with Florida, kind of in general, and it, we're just comparing this to Charlotte here. But if we get up on a Sunday, we need to get there by 9 a.m. Because it's go there's going to be a wait anyway, but it's not going to be a long wait. Here, it seems like people don't even really start showing up until no. 10. Well, um, we, we're, we're up at 5, 5.30 in the morning. So yeah. by 9 o'clock, I'm starving. <laughs> so I got back from the gym. She's like, Michael, I'm I want hungry. to be like, okay. the person who eats brunch. But let's be real. I'm eating breakfast because I'm eating what You're I... eating omelets. I mean... Yeah, like, well, it's it's breakfast time for brunch for most people is like 10 o'clock or 11 i would never make it that long without my three eggs there you have it i think that's our that's, two cool yeah cafe um michael still wants a coffee so we are going to go to the new place we found yesterday which is love these villain guys. coffee in satellite beach they are so good yeah and um, that's where i got my shirt i'm wearing i got this yesterday so. again everybody's so nice we learned last night that these local guys are actually opening a bar and downtown another part Melbourne, of downtown. We're so excited. Yeah, Melbourne so, is growing up. Yeah. Um, anyway, really neat. <clears throat> we're just rambling now. I know. We're going to cut this here and uh, see you guys another Sunday for another brunch video. Let's go. Have a good day. Let's go get coffee. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.